the sacred ritual of the newlywed, is one of the greatest steps in the modern life of two people, the sacred day of swearing. They will promise in front of their family and at the church well prepared, because it only happens once in life of the couple. But what if the day when everyone was waiting for, was suddenly broken, and how the day you got married, was the last day of your guests? We're like this at a wedding in Israel, the happy wedding was replaced by crying, and it was called Versailles wedding disaster. Before we begin our story, if you are new to this channel, click subscribe to it, and don't forget to like this video, so you are always updated with life amazing stories. Karen and Asaf are two lovers from the nation of Israel, who have been in a relationship for a long time, they all love each other very much. And because they are both of legal age, they decided to get married according to the blessing of their family. Here, they quickly planned their wedding. And a month before they celebrated their special day, Karen and Asaf were so busy preparing the necessities for their long-awaited day. Karen first took care of the flowers they would use in the church and what to put in the reception. Because, she wanted to be beautiful at the outcome of their wedding. Then, they took care of all the dishes for the reception, as well as the desserts. They carefully chose if will it enter the taste of their guests, as well as their wedding cake to be displayed in the middle of the reception hall. When the two finished, they were thinking about where they wanted to hold their reception. They wanted to celebrate the wedding in a spacious, but private place. The two eventually agreed, that it would be held at the Versailles Wedding Hall in Jerusalem. Their chosen venue was a building, with a height of three floors. They visited the place where the wedding hall stands. Here, the receptionist toured them and showed them, where their wedding and reception could be held. The third floor, was just a new addition to the building according to the receptionist. Because it was more spacious than the second floor, and it is quieter compared to the first floor. The couple liked the space of the third floor, Karen looked around, and to her delight she immediately thought, about how to design their future reception. Because of this, a safe made a reservation immediately, and they called their wedding planner to start planning. The day passed quickly and two weeks before their wedding took place, the two Ray inspected the design of the wedding hall. The second floor is beautifully arranged, some guests can go for a walk or relax first with just a cloth well hanging around. And while the flowers will be placed on the day of the wedding, when they go up the third floor, there is a thing that quickly caught the attention of the two, a part of the floor of the third floor gradually had cracks, and the couple sank alarmed. Because the floor might not support the weight of more than 400 of their guests, they approached their witness to the receptionist of the wedding hall and the receptionist immediately called the owner of the wedding hall. The owner suggested, that they must stop taking care of preparation on the third floor, as he will first call the people who can repair to this. And only then, they can continue designing for the wedding and because there's two weeks before the wedding. They agreed to fix the third floor first before they proceed, as the two quickly calm their mood and that nothing bad will happen on the day of their wedding followed by the owner of the wedding hall, called the engineer Eli Ron. Eli inspected the looming cracks in the floor of the third floor. And here he suggested to do the pal-cal method, where the broken floor is just overlaid with a metal plate, and then it is overlaid with a thin layer of cement. The pal-cal method is a quick and cheap way to fix it because they only have a few weeks left to fix it, before Karen and a safe scheduled wedding. Just a few days later, the floor was finished. In addition, it also dried quickly. Almost a week before the scheduled wedding, Karen and Asaf returned to check on the condition of the floor. But when they went up to the third floor, they were amazed at how well it was. In order for their behavior they slightly lost their minds the fear caused by cracks in the floor. The receptionist approached them, and informed them of the action taken by the owner of the wedding hall. They did not see the outcome of the construction because the floor was covered with a thick carpet. And they were confident, that the outcome of their grand day would be good. May 24, 2001, came the day that Karen and the safe had been waiting for the most. And it was the day of their wedding, mixed with excitement and joy they felt. When the ceremony started, over 400 guests attended their celebration, most of them relatives of the couple, and the others were they close friends. They held the wedding peacefully, and by the time for the reception, 
The newlywed first toured the building to greet the guests. They noticed that the owner of the wedding hall had removed the barrier on the second floor that separates its two parts now. It is also a long and white floor ideal for their guests. After they thank the people on the second floor, they have already climbed to the third floor of the wedding hall. Here, their guests started the program when they both entered. Their parents and friends gave some messages for them, while the serving of food for the guests has already started. The newlyweds are happy, because their plan was successful. Their months of preparation, hard work and sacrifice, there is no denying that the outcome was very good. But something was going to happen, and no one was ready. At 11 o'clock on the night, after the program, most guests were just talking or dancing soon to be written. And people were partying on the third floor, while another guest on the second floor, also climbed to the third floor to join the fun. After party music, brought the relentless shout of people and lively dancing. But at 11.43 o'clock on the night, the music was replaced of strong, which the guests shouted, and it was not for joy, but, for fear of the third floor, where the guests were dancing. The guests fell down to the first floor, over 380 wounded for this incident and 23 were left alive, include a safe's grandfather and his three-year-old cousin. While Karen, sustained a serious injury to her hip, a safe was lucky to have only a few scratches. So, he immediately took his wife out of the collapsed building. The search and rescue operation of the home front command responded immediately. The search took two days, finding another visitor believed to have been buried alive, due to the fatal collapse. May 26, 2001 at 4 p.m., when after the search for the missing visitors, Three were released alive in the collapsed building and 23 were confirmed dead. The investigation moved quickly to find out the cause of the collapse, and according to it there were many complications. The possible cause of tragedy first of all here, is the design of the building, because the third floor was too late when it was added. Second, is the construction was done on the floor of the third floor, the added steel and cement, because it also added weight to the third floor. Third. The barrier on the second floor has been removed, because these barriers serve to support the weight caused by the addition of third floor. But because it was removed, it caused the floor to sink and weaken. And the last one, was the dancing of the people that night, the weight of the people inside, added to the weight of the newly repaired floor. And there was no support on the second floor, it gave a reason so the people on the third floor fell. As a result, the engineer who hired by the owner to fix third floor, Engineer Eli Ron was charged with manslaughter in August 2002. In 2017, when the building was demolished, and to this day the lot remains vacant as it stands. In the end, a happy celebration that should have been filled with love and pleasure, can change just because of a simple neglect. Although, we always remember that let us put everyone first and consider their well-being before it is taken back to us in a time. When we do not fully realize the tragedy and accident, there is no choice and we can all be victims of it. Thank you for watching.